good morning guys welcome to today's video it is friday on the day by day farm and it's going to be a crazy weekend so i wanted to start off today's video by saying thank you so much for all of you guys who have been really patient while we've been trying to figure out what's wrong with chino heard from the vet this morning his insulin levels are not back <laughs> he suspects monday but i do think we have a diagnosis i don't like daisy going down this far yeah come on daisy in here all the dogs ran out when I came out today. They're getting bad habits at this farm. That can tell. My dog ran straight to me. <laughs> Your dog ran straight to you? Yeah. Aw. Sophie does morning chores. Gabby does nighttime chores. And I do, and Sophie and I do chickens and geese and goats. So that's what today is. This is Daisy's first time in the goat. This is her first time ever. This is Daisy's first time ever down in this barn. Which, actually, I don't want them in the barn because I don't want them to chase, chase the cat. I want to Just prevent the that. Goats. They're like, wow, what's in there? Oh, my dog comes down here. Anyway. No, no, no. Let's get the duck and the goose first. Pick them up and then release the... Pick them up? No, pick the ducks hey, and the I geese. I like, they're too heavy. <laughs> so, what is that? Willow's mane. That is Willow's mane. What are you going to do with it? Make a bracelet. Make a bracelet. Get out. No. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Oh. All right, so duck and goose are still happily alive. <laughs> Farming is not for the weak at heart. That is for sure. Okay, you grab the big one, I grab the small one. All right, let's grab them. Oh, so I figured out how, did you see the message I sent you? How to sex a uh, yeah, duck? Yeah, I didn't watch it. So, oh, so a duck has a big, deep, a uh, female duck has a big, deep quack. Like an aggressive, deep quack, like she yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, she has a deep quack. Yeah, and a boy quacks like this, quack, quack, quack. So, what do you think we have? A girl. We have a girl, for sure. She has like that deep, deep, ferocious quack. What is that little mark on you? Probably poo. Oh, gross. All right, <laughs> come here. Probably Come here, goose. Oh, there we go. All right, we are good to go. Let's go, and then we'll she let. She has blue eyes. I oh, know she's really cute. We love you. That's why I picked her. So I don't know if this guy is a girl or a guy yet. So the goose does not like the dogs, which is why we don't bring them down here. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Aww. She's like, I love the goats. Yeah, wait till you meet them. No, the goats <laughs> were like ramming the door. Like all five of them. All right, I'll let the goats out. You call the dogs to the gate. No, I want to let the goats out. Come on. So integrating your animals with each other you means. Know, it's fine. Just come on. the gate open. Come on. Let's go. go. Ellie knows. Come on. Ellie knows the drill. <laughs> Ellie's not a, Ellie's not an idiot. <laughs> come on, Ruby, come. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Yeah, it's just scared. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so integrating your animals together means putting them together. Come on. Uh oh. Daisy, it's not gonna end well for you, so come on. Hope, don't let them stare you down. That's when it happens. Look at, look at all the babies. And look at our brave brown girl. Look at our brave Mocha, come on. She wasn't scared, I swear, when we first came. All out. right, let's go. You gotta go get dressed. We are headed out of town this morning. Early this morning. I think my dog likes them. You think your dog likes them? I think she's scared of them. She doesn't know what they can do yet. Good girl, Daisy. She doesn't even know what they are. Like, she's glowing. She's blinding me. I know. This dog is, is very clean. She does not like to get dirty. And in the and she literally, in the sun, blinds you from her whiteness. She's like, can I go back? She, that's, her, that's her secret weapon. She's like, she, if an animal tries to attack her, her, she just turns on her super glowing power and oh. they get blinded. Ellie's already out. Yeah. Like, Ellie's already on the other side of the fence. Let's go. Okay, so we got Chino's diagnosis. Not all the results are in yet. His insulin level's still out. So I'm gonna explain to you what happened today. 
So fortunately for us, Chino is gonna take some medicine and we're hoping that the medicine is gonna make Chino feel a whole lot better. I want to now. Wait, wait. Show them the medicine, Gabby. This is $500. This was $500. $500. Yeah, 10 milligrams in the morning and 10 milligrams at night. I don't know. I don't know. So it's a dial. Like that? That much? It's right on the line. Yeah, turn it around. Uh, yep. That is perfect. So Gabby's going to give it to him. I can't believe, like, yesterday we were still waiting and today he's getting drugs. <laughs> Our boy might get fixed. So unfortunately his diagnosis is complicated, but not as complicated as cancer. And he may be able to eat grass again. And he might live, he might be able to have a normal life, but he also might not. And that's okay. Even if he's just like a, a even if he's just a regular horse that just hangs out on our field, in our field, I'm okay with that. <gasps> Can't get it out. Did you get it in? Oh, some of it. That's all gonna go in his mouth. All right, we're gonna have to find oh, a better. Get up. <laughs> get up. You know, oh my gosh. Give me two hands for this. Okay, all right, let's put his halter no. on. Chino, you need all this medicine. Lick this off my hand, dude. I'm gonna have to put this on something, on a treat and give it to him. <laughs> Hold his head up. Yeah, that's all. All right, well here, you gotta get this into him. Right, it's important. It. Shove it in his mouth. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to find out a better way to give him this drugs. Chino, this man, this is going to make you feel good, buddy. Wipe it on there. No, because he's not going to... Yeah, he's going to eat it. Wipe it on there. No, I want to make sure it gets Wipe in it his mouth. So, Look in his mouth, he doesn't... Okay. I need to... Listen, I'm just going to put a little thing in your mouth. Oops. Shoot. I didn't get it all in there. Yeah. I just... <laughs> there. It's gonna be a chore. Yeah, it's gonna be a chore. But this is gonna fix you. Then you get fixed, do you know? <sighs> so that was difficult. But anyway, we have high hopes. I'm gonna explain to you guys yeah. what happened no, to Chino. We have special visitors at our farm today. No. No? You are not special? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, Jacob. Anyway, we're headed down to see the goats for the very first time. That's Brooklyn. And we are going to go, and Brooklyn's a little nervous. Uh, you're going in the wrong direction. They're over here. Okay, no, I Never follow a boy, Brooklyn. They'll always lead you in the wrong direction. See? <laughs> anyway, I have like all my camera stuff because I'm going to try and take some pictures. Gabby, let us in, please. I got all my hands full. Sophie has gone to another lesson. So even though we just started, like we just found out a week ago, a week ago, we started, just found out really soon about this show. Is this farm wire? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. If you think it is, don't touch it. Anyways, we just found out recently about this show. So that's why we didn't have a lot of time to prepare. So Sophie got one, an introduction. Is the show on Sunday? Yeah, the show's on Sunday. And then she uh, had a lesson, and now she's having a second lesson. So we dropped her off at the trainer's house at a western barn. Look! They're way down there. Do you see them? Yeah. All right, let's keep going. I want to touch the book. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to play with them. Where's the thing? Are you going to get it? Yeah. So it's in there. Where? In the other room. The room? Yeah. Uh-oh, listen. <laughs> They're coming. Yeah. That's why I put bells on them because when I'm in the house, I can hear them and I know they're safe because I'm a worry, worry wart. They're looking at us. Come on. Oh, they're running. Do you guys see there's a butterfly there? When you let flowers grow this high, it makes it really good for butterflies. Come on. Brooklyn and Jacob are a little nervous. It's in that green tub. Look, they love me. See, they're not scared of me. Are you actually, see how scared they are, Brooklyn? <laughs> Brooklyn's running. Oh, they love you. 
I don't mean any harm. I don't mean any harm. They're like, yeah, we don't care about you. We just care about the treats. Oh, no jumping on me. <laughs> don't jump on her. Don't do that. You don't sprinkle them with treats. You let them eat it gently out of your hand. Oh, I don't want to get jumped on. They're so gentle. Come here, Brooklyn, for where we're going to take pictures. Don't get my wiener, dog. <laughs> oh don't God. get my penis. Oh, my gosh. My penis is not a right. <laughs> my penis is not a hot dog. Okay, they don't eat hot dogs. Relax. Oh, God. Oh, no, grab it. Watch your head, though. I got some cute pictures, and unfortunately not everybody likes goats. <laughs> but Jacob's got flowers. Are you going to give them the flowers? Or are you bringing them in the house for Nana? Um, I don't know which one I'm bringing in the house. Put it in between their uh, horns. I don't think they like those flowers. Oh, the baby likes them. Can we eat them? She's like, thank you. Um, did I mention to you guys that Sophie's a uh, uh, lesson? We're trying to figure out if we are going to sleep outside. Are we going to sleep outside? Where? In here. Yeah. How? I don't know if we have a tent. A tent would be good. So this couch folds out into a bed. And I have a cot. You guys got a foldy farm now. We got a foldy farm? No, foldy. You're not, you don't have a foldy yet. You need pigs. That's the last. Oh, we don't have a fully farm? Yeah. It's not fully done yet. Yeah. So what do you think, Brooklyn? If it's two people. Well, we can balance it better. So when so I have a spot for three, but we're having five. Sophie doesn't know it yet, but I'm gonna try and talk her into sleeping out here with us. I'm gonna clean it and put fresh sheets and everything on it for us and fresh bedding. And I'll have to wash everything tomorrow. Alright, so we're probably gonna sleep here and I'm not sleeping out here by myself. We're we could get the beds from the trailer and bring those out even. Actually, the trailer's not put up. Anyway, we're trying to figure it out. We want to do a 24 hours in the horse barn. I definitely want us to sleep like in something that protects us from bugs. So we're going to have to go and ask Sam how to figure that out. Come on. Do you have any kind of netting that we could sleep under? Don't you know that you're beautiful?